So welcome back to the Lake District and parked up today at Gummers Howe Car Park which is just above Windermere. Destination for the day, a nice easy one, Gummers Howe. Never been up there before so it's going to be a first for me. So it looks like over Windermere there's a very nice clown inversion. So I'm going to get cracking straight away. Why not come along with us? So we're going straight with the car park. We're heading up the road a couple hundred yards and then we'll see a path uh, and then we'll take it all the way to the summit. Nice short walk today. Looking forward to it. Possibly 150 yards up the road. See the signpost. Come as how half a mile. And straight through the gate. So that's where the car's parked. There. And underneath the cloud over there is Lake Windermere. So a very easy path to follow and easy destination in sight. A lot of fallen trees after the storms we've had over the last few uh, weeks. And apparently a lot of uh, logging work is going on as well but at the moment only me here. Oh good, there's a herd of cows on the path. Just what I needed. Beside the welcomers as well. Oh my god. Now it looks like the farm has just gone past there with some uh, with a bit of scoff for them. What a good start to the day. Go on. That's it, get yourselves up there. Oh god, you stop now. And given that I've never been up here before, I'm not quite sure which way the path goes. I'm hoping it's straight ahead there. Bypass these uh, beasts of doom. So this looks like the path going up here, and that's the <laughs> the farmer and his herd of cows down there, which suits me down the ground. Unfortunately, when I come back down, I'm going to go past them again. This could be a very quick up and a very quick down. So the path is a very rocky, steppy path, which looks like it's going all the way to the top. The clouds still over, pools water there. I'm hoping by the time I get up there, it's still going to be there because it uh, should give us some really nice views. So steps all the way up to the top. Uh, Steepish, but if you take your time, no. No problem at all and to be honest from the car park it looks a lot higher than it actually is the mist is starting to lift there but I think a little bit of a scramble up here I have a feeling if you circle around here you don't have to go up this scrambly bit but for quickness I'm going straight up there scrambling but uh, I thought I'd stop here get the last of the mist because by the time I get there all that lovely mist is uh, all going to have vanished having said that still left with absolutely fantastic view and even better when we get up there and uh, some us inside I came up uh, down there Keep doing that. Uh, so for the first time top of Gummer's How and what a day to be up here so a very expansive uh, summit so on a busy day plenty of room to explore and on a quiet day only me here I'm just having a, a quiet moment here something I think everybody takes for granted views places like this 
I just got up this morning, jumped in my car, drove over here and having a really nice time. But I can't help but think of the uh, poor people in uh, Ukraine who did exactly the same a week ago. Got up, went to work, went, kids went to school and then a few days later you look outside and you've got a tank coming down your front street. Horrible, absolutely horrible. So I give thanks every single day for all the blessings that I have got, my health, my family, and just to be able to go and find peace in a place like this. I am so lucky. So the music that I've been playing today has been wrote in tribute to them people uh, by a composer called Whiteside. And if you watch my videos, I always use his music. It's inspiring. It's dramatic and these views I see are inspiring and the views are dramatic as well. So he wrote this piece for the people of Ukraine. So I just walked down off the summit, summit there and like I mentioned before, very, very expansive summit, but an ideal place. Uh, if you've got a few kids and you want to let them sort of run wild in relative uh, safety, it's a really big summit area but if you've never done any of the Wayne rides before and you fancy doing one this for me is a, a really easy one to do I think from the car park to the summit took me about 15 minutes it's a really good first fell if you've never done one before and you fancy doing one you want that sense of achievement and you also want to tick off a Wayne ride six weeks since I've been out Whenever you don't post for a period of time, you always lose uh, subscribers. And I have lost a few this time as well. So the people that I have stuck with us, I appreciate it. And, uh, and also I'd like to say a big thank you to the people that have uh, bought me a coffee. Uh, that really is nice of people. I'm not gonna name people, I don't wanna embarrass people, but I just want to say a thank you. So just behind the trees and the rocks at the top is the summit and I've just walked just down here, a nice gentle walk back. So this is the way you can come up as well. So this is the point where I came up here before. And I went up that way, but I've come back from round there, which was very, very easy. So if you come up here, you want a bit of excitement, straight up there. If you want to take it easy, or got a few kids with you or summers, round that way. You have no problem at all. Anyway, the sun seems to have gone in there now, but uh, I'm heading over to Rydal Water there now, which will most likely be a separate video. So I just want to say, for the people who've stuck with us, thank you very much. And for the ones who's left us, you are lost. Right, I'm heading down there now, and hopefully, them cows will be out of the way of me. And there's my friends waiting of us. Right in the path as well. Lovely. There's a calf there right next to the path. I'm just going to have to it past. That's it mate, keep moving, keep moving. Whew! <laughs> wow, I'm pleased I've uh, got past them. Like if you watched any of my videos before, you know I don't like cows. So I must admit I was bricking it a bit there, going past them. So possibly something to bear in mind if you're thinking about doing this walk. If you've watched the video all the way through, thank you very much. I always appreciate it. Why not consider subscribing? I'll tell you something, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.